Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Reus, where we are attempting the Chosen People Achievement, or as I like to call it, the One Village Challenge. Now, you may notice that our map does in fact have two villages here, going by the names variously of Marvelwood and Fortville. They're both forest villages, but you see, I'm adopting a little bit of fun here to make the video more interesting to watch, and also to just see who thrives, because by placing everything down the way we have, one of these villages is going to ultimately survive and be the one that we witness its victory at the end of the game. So, I guess we're pitting them against each other for sport. But that actually sounds kind of bad when you put it that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so let's put some more mackerel in the sea first of all to generate more food. So, last time we left off we had the plantation being built in... Fort Bill, which is going to need 125 food in order to build. Now, right now that's currently sitting at 103, but it should... Oh, we have a swamp village. It should have just enough time left to gather the necessary 25 food and get the job done. Meanwhile, we are building over here is a mill for this village. And what they mainly need for this is food more of and technology more of. So we'll get some plant life down here, which should, in theory, help us get a bit more of both. So we'll start popping over here, lay down some dandelions and some strawberries for more science. Here's the swamp village. Hi. You guys are cool, and I like you, but we're doing only two villages at the moment. And having you there is honestly kind of going to be a pain, so... Uh, I'm sorry, but as much as I did this by accident in the first playthrough, now we are very much doing it deliberately. Your village is going to sink. Go for it, Krabby. I am a capricious god. Earthville has been destroyed. I'm sorry, Earthville. It wasn't anything personal. Well, I suppose it kind of was personal, because I just want my two villages here, but... um. It wasn't personally personal. Okay, so we should be getting the plantation done on time. Yes, I know it's looking to run out of time. So, meanwhile over here, we're giving them more food and more science with dandelions and strawberries. There we go. Um, anything else we can do to expand this? I don't really think so. We've got the stoats here. Oh no, sorry, the chickens. The chickens are doing alright. Stone garden will give more technology if we put a plant next to it. Right, so what's next to it at the moment? Stoats. Which are just giving wealth, but we don't need wealth so much right now. But plants would work better. So, come and pop some plants down. Uh, actually, how are they for food? It, no, we better lay down a food plant, actually. So, let's bring you over here and put some fruit down. Because those stoats are funny. I like stoats, but we don't need stoats. Although we could put the stoats over there. Yeah, we actually do have room for just budging the stoats over slightly. Okay, so we've got more than enough technology. They just need a bit more food. What can we do to give them more food? Let's... Ooh, coastal mackerel. Coastal mackerel is efficient. Talking of things, how are we efficiency? Oh, nice, we're nearly there. We're going to finish the plantation. That's excellent. <laughs> They're no longer greedy in any way. They're not too dangerous either. Okay, so uh, Swampy, you can have it now, because that will unlock us the reactions aspect, which should let us do some stuff with technology. Giants are growing stronger and stronger, however, it seems the humans have noticed this as well. At some point, the humans will no longer be impressed with connect completing projects and demand higher level projects. Presumably just because they're greedy little bastards. So, can the reaction do anything? Copper gives large amounts of tech, especially if animals are nearby. 
They're good for tech at the moment, honestly. It's the food they need a bit more of. So what can I do to give them more food? Other than to encourage them to go to war with their neighbours. Which I don't really want to do. I like my little villages. Ultimately, one of them is going to have to perish, but uh, I'm not going to be too personal about that, I don't think. I mean, I like how things are looking. How can I give them more food? That just needs to be next to a plant. Just got the blueberry. The stoats there. Um, let's put some more fish off the coast. Because that at least appears to be doing something. Spreading the food inland a bit, which I can live with. Ah, now, let's try this. Let's make them into apple trees. There we go. Now that's working out well. Then next to animals, it works out well to have them as trees. Okay. So what if I was to turn these ones on the coast into apple trees as well? Is that going to work out for us? Because they're next to... Yes, that should work out well next to the fish. If I'm doing this right anyway. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, there we go. A bit of biodiversity. Still, we need more food for this mill project, and I think I'm running out of ways to give it to them. Got ample technology. Ah, now this is an empty plot, so we can put some more food here. And what else can we do? Let's just start spamming things like the growth aspect to try and get a bit more growth here. Yeah, I've been a bit dumb. I really should have been doing a bit more of this sooner, all things considered. There we go. That should do the trick now. Okay, Fortville now has the prosperity we need to get the achievement. So, that's going to work out well. Which means if we start getting towards the end of the session, we may just have to remove the other village. Although I'd like to avoid that if at all possible. They are growing so nicely, though. And I'm kind of hoping they go to war with each other. Because then I should be able to get involved and just, well, not take sides, but just make sure that the winners who I want to win, win. Which at the moment is looking like Fortville, because they were here longer, which is perhaps um, a bit impersonal of me, I'll admit. But we shall have to see. Any more aspects we can give out? Uh, yes, let's make some fish exotic. We 
can add some leaf aspects to things as well. Go and uh, plant the reactions aspect on there. They're getting a lot of food out of the plantation at the moment. Let's have a look at the village closely. Oh, that is nice. They're not doing too badly. Yes, trumpets. Beer. Music. Trumpets. Love. Meat. Trumpets. Beer. Trumpets. Meat. Beer. Trumpets. Meat. Beer. They do like their trumpets. Meat and beer. I mean, those are the three fundamentals of life, I suppose. I can't fault them on wanting those. <laughs> hey. You know what? Let's put some stuff in the desert just to... Ooh, circus. Put some stuff in the desert in a minute. So they want 200 food and 200 wealth, and they are not very wealthy at the moment. Wow. I think this one's going to be a bit of a challenge, folks. But I reckon we can pull it off, and we should be able to pull it off in the next episode of Reus. I'll see you then.